swiftly on though. We're gonna bring Freddie on to every say. What are you saying, Freddie? <laughs> Who do you support, Fred? Hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm a Chelsea fan. What's going on, guys? Chelsea, Chelsea. Nice to meet you, Freddie boy. Nice to meet you. Uh, what do you want to say? Pleasure, pleasure. Um, so I do like the kudos. Um, the links. Well, let's say it's kind of it's a sh- it's a shocking one for me because I think if we can get kudos and maybe Moises Caicedo, we should be good for the season. Um, now the other day I was hearing your boy Igal have a lot of smoke for Chelsea, right? And I I just wanted to know since they just had a title charge last year, when did this relevance all of a sudden become like a big thing? And, you know, I'm going to have so much smoke for this guy when we finish ahead of Arsenal this, this season. Freddie, 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 Freddie take Freddie, it, take it back. Let's, let's, let's all right. Let's, let's take it back. <laughs> let's just wait. All right. Let's wait uh, to the end of the window. I know, I know we got us to panic, but as you can see the past few days, what two days we've been linked to top players. You know what I'm saying? So, Let's just wait till the end of the window. Let's see how we get on after the first first ten games, and then you can come in with smoke. But for now, wait. don't 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 get yourself clipped, bro. Yeah. No, no, no. Wait until my only thing is, my just only wait. thing is, just wait until Casado if he's confirmed. That's it. That's Chelsea it. has been a much better team than Arsenal, and all of a sudden we're a small club, which makes no sense at all. And it's been, every time, I tell you what, the, I tell you what this goes back to. A gal made the wrong choice when he came to London and chose the wrong club to support. <laughs> and ever since then, what he's found out is that we destroyed his club's legacy in less time than they did to build it. So that's the whole thing. That's all it is. We destroyed their we destroyed their okay. entire thing. And do you know what? I'm fine. I'm fine being called a little bus stop in Fulham. We've just got more stuff than we won more things than you. So I'm okay with it. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather our players get tired, get shoulder injuries, lifting trophies. Then being proud and pat us on the back by finishing second in the league or in the top four. So I'm okay with it, bro. But Freddie, Freddie, you seem confident you're gonna finish in front of Arsenal. Do you really believe that, Freddie boy? The transfer uh market we have. If we have all the players in that we need, I mean, we, we've done it before, we could do it again. But instead of getting Olise, I'd rather just keep um Angelo because he is very saucy. Very saucy. So we only need maybe two, two, three players, and we're good for the season. That's all I got. Mm. But when we do finish ahead of Arsenal, you, you got to come outside. We got to talk. Oh, don't worry. We're going to have smoke. If we don't finish him up the next yeah. season, we're going to we're going to have serious smoke for them. If it happens, then by all means. But again, we've got to let the the meal cook. You've got as I. Do you know what? I've changed my phrase. It's not what it's not we're cooking. No, we're in the kitchen. You don't know what the meal looks like here. We're marinating. Well, we're marinating. But it's, it's 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 in process. We just got to wait for the for the meal to be ready, and then plus, once the meal's ready, just go. Then you can. Plus, if we if we finish with Arsenal, isn't it just normal service resumed? I don't. It's not a big thing. Do you know what I mean? It's just like yeah. It's just like it's just like it's just okay. Everything's back to normal. Do you know what I mean? We finished above you. It's not. <laughs> you're back to where you belong. <laughs> you fact, judging, judging by the way they're talking, if we were to finish ahead of them, we would have to win the league. So, yeah, that's not that's not normal service for us yeah. right now because we don't. No, 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 no. Just generally, but we don't need to win the league normal. to be ahead of Arsenal. We don't need to win the league. No, we I could no, be third. I know, Arsenal could be fourth. No, I, 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 I get that. I'm just saying the way that these Arsenal fans are talking. Oh, yeah, they're very confident. But remember, and yesterday was fair, a big game. Yesterday was a big game for Man United against Man United, but now it's just a preseason friendly. But so to, it doesn't matter. To, again, so, you know. again, to be fair, um, <laughs> I get why they're in in their current state of mind. Yeah, yeah, but they should be. They had a very good I'll, season. I'll leave it to them. This season's going to be but, interesting, man. It's it's going to be interesting. There's been a lot of changes at Arsenal. You know that midfield. I, I'm not. I'm not sold by it. You know Havertz, um, uh, Rice, and Odegaard. So again, man, first ten games are going to be very, very interesting. That's that's what I'm going to say on that one because Arsenal fans are, are getting. They, they automatically think they're going to finish in the top two already because of last season. They need to forget about last season. It's a brand new season with different players. Do you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we'll have to see after the first 10. Mate, it's going to be it's, it's, it's going to be very, very interesting indeed. It really is. Uh, Freddie, thanks for coming on, bro. I appreciate you uh, coming on, my friend. And we'll chat again soon, G. Top, top man. Uh, we've got Shrey with us now. Long time no speak. Shrey, how are you, bro? Hey, I'm good. Hey, how, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. What do you want to say, brother? Yeah, so I I just I uh, I just want to speak with you on the Mbappe situation. If I, I'm Chelsea, I personally wouldn't do it. If I'm if I'm Lawrence Stewart, stay away from this guy. Because I'll I'll give you a counter example. 
Look at look at the Lukaku situation right now. And he, like I I personally don't want this Lukaku drug Lukaku two point like Mbappe situation would be Lukaku on steroids. Like, I I seriously don't want. Hang on, want hang, on hang on, hang on. You you think signing Mbappe would be yeah. worse than signing R- Romelu Lukaku? Only, only only for the reason of the drama that surrounds him as as a football player. Obviously, any any of us would be idiots not to do. Like just for the drama the thing, that. The thing is, though, bro, him. you could handle. Lukaku's drama if he was banging 40 goals a season in for you. The reason that... that, that listen, Eric Cantona came with drama. This guy was kicking fans in the face and throwing footballs at referees. But he produced performances. Your captain, your captain John Terry, racially abused somebody, but because he was winning you titles, your fans said it's okay, bruv. That's drama. He was sleeping with his own teammates' wives, but no one cared because he was winning you trophies. That's more drama. Come on now, G. I, I get it. I get it. I mean, I mean, but, but even that, like, I think, I think with the squad that we're building, I mean, Mbappe would be kind of like contradict, like, would be counterproductive to what we're trying to build. That, that's that's just me. I mean, hang on, it, assigning it, it, really talented young players. <laughs> yeah, that's Mbappe. I, I, as a football player, I'm not questioning it. Absolutely, you you would be an I, idiot I, not to try it. I mean, I hear I mean, you. But I hear you. No, but what are you what are you concerned about? Are you, is, are you saying that he's got a big ego or like what what is it that's concerning? Exactly, about and his ego, his his salary is another concern. Uh, you know, is because even if he comes, he's not he's not going to cover hundred grand a week. He's he's going to want major salaries. Like he, he wants it five six hundred grand. I, 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 I'll tell you one thing. Everyone everyone in our squad will, will totally understand. However much we're going to pay Mbappe, because you're talking about a generational player. Over here, so that, that, that's not gonna. That's not gonna be. There's, there's always gonna be exception to the rules. Certain players are, are just an exception to the rule. Haaland, Mbappe, uh, uh, Vinicius. There's yeah, certain players I, that are just always gonna be an exception yeah, to the I, rule. That's just how it thing. is. Chelsea have never had a football player at their club as famous and as popular and as good as Mbappe. Right. Which and then. So, so, so in terms of drama, there's always drama <laughs> when you've got a player of that size. Beckham had drama. Ronaldo had drama. Rooney had drama. But if they're delivering. You accept it and you take it to a point. The only time players with drama get kicked out of football clubs is when they don't perform. So I hear you. Listen, straight top man for coming on, brother. We'll chat to you again soon, G. Thank you, my guy. Top, top man. Thank you. Uh, AK is with us now. What are you saying, AK? Uh, yeah, Terry, can you hear me? Correctly? Perfect. No. Yeah, Perfect. Um, yeah. I'm a Real Madrid fan. And uh, to be honest, I, I want Mbappe as soon as possible. I don't... I know there are fans who say, you know... It's 150 million get him for free next year. Just cut out the risk and get him this year. We have the money, get him this year, cut out everything. And I don't understand when people say, you know, oh, Mbappe causes ego, he has an ego, he will cause toxicity in the dressing room, he, uh, you know, his wages are too high. Did, would you want 0910 Ronaldo in your team? He does the same thing. 0910 Ronaldo's arrogant. 0910 Ronaldo causes ego. The best players in the world have an ego. The best players in the world have arrogance. So, Mate, it's of course. Messi, Messi's PR is so good. People don't think he's arrogant. He is. You don't get to that level without having an air of arrogance. And it's always going to be uh, like a buzz and a, a, a crazy kind of feeling around you. Yeah, there absolutely has to uh, be one wow uh listen ak top call my friend thanks for coming on and showing your face and having your say mate i appreciate it big breaking news that face is best. L, L, uh hilal and fulham are on the verge of agreeing a deal for mitrovic yeah mitrovic is yeah. gonna go there do you know what it is these men are like, like i'm 28 29 i'm being offered half a million yes. a yeah. week Tax free. Um, off. Oh, they're buying so many players. But that's that going to happen because they, they, they that, 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 league, that league's already better than League R, better than the French yeah. League already. <laughs> they, 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 do you know what it is though? Yeah, Terry. See, Fulham. I don't understand why they've gone and signed Raúl Jiménez. For because they knew they're going to get rid of Mitrovic. That's why. No, no, no. Besides that, I know they need a striker. Raúl Jiménez is not the same player. He's not what he was before that injury, that head injury. He's not the same. Yeah. And and the fact that they only paid five million for him just goes to show that I thought Fulham were done with like. These sort of signings, do you know what I mean? Fulham have they, they uh, came back to the Prem, they've done really well. Um, they've got a good manager. So then to go and sign Raul Jimenez, I'm bit I'm a bit confused with that one because he's he has not, not been the same. 
let's not discipline them. They are about to buy Cho from us, so let's just leave Fulham alone. They're about you, to buy Cho, so no. and we you just not I dis- get, them. I used to get so much abuse from Chelsea fans when I said I weren't moved by Cho. I used to get so much abuse. It was just something about him when I was watching him and like he 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 ticked that box to me of having all like all the gear but no idea, all the skill but not the will. He just looked he looked good but didn't do anything. And I just watched him and just be like. I ain't moved. It, like, trickery, great. Like he reminds me, and I said it at the time. He was just like Zaha. Looks good, but don't do anything. It, he it, he was he, to, be, to be fair to him. He was good under Sari though, Terry. I'll be real. Like, and when he no, got that ACL, no. that's when it went downhill from there. Was it ACL? Was, that... was it Achilles? Was it Achilles? Achilles. 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 Was it Achilles? Yeah. Was it not ACL? Yeah. No, it was no, Achilles. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it was Achilles tendon. Yeah, long term injury. Once he had that, it was done. It was done. No, I hear that. I just, I just, again, he's not even, no disrespect meant by it. I just never, I just always watched him. He was just like a player that I thought, meh, I don't think he's ever going to get to the level. Mm. Um, Look, he's a Prem player, so that's still a bloody good level. But the difference between playing in the Prem and being a player good enough to help Chelsea win a Premier League. There's a different, yeah. or just being a player that's instrumental in winning a Premier League, you have to there's be a of a certain... There's a difference uh, between a, a guy and the guy. Yeah, there's exactly. 